With the upcoming Paper Mario Color Splash already looking pretty lukewarm, <laughs> I felt this is a subject that's worth talking about. And the question is, is Mario in a Dark Age? The unfortunate answer is, honestly, yeah. But it's not all bad. Like, he's not in as much of the rut as, say, Sonic was, or Pac-Man still is. But things have been pretty bland for the Mario series. Examples are lack of creativity and reused elements and forced nostalgia, which are most evident in games such as New Super Mario Bros. 2 and New Super Mario Bros. U, which are heavily criticized and regarded as mediocre, and are pretty much the main reason why people say Mario is the same thing over and over again, especially this day and age. Said blandness has been seeping into other entries in the series, such as Paper Mario Sticker Star and even Mario and Luigi Paper Jam to a lesser extent. The Dark Age of Mario is pretty much why I look upon Super Mario Sunshine, which was my first Mario game, more fondly than a lot of other people. It had creativity, and it was like if you look at it compared to a lot of other entries, the setting was different, there was a whole there were whole new characters, it had voice acting, a new mechanic, yet all these things were mostly criticized because it, it, it felt like it was straying too far from the Mario formula, which is ironic considering today, well, oh, we're sick of Peach being kidnapped all the time, we're sick of Bowser being the villain all the time, we want an actual story. And I wholeheartedly agree with that, and that's why I missed the direction Sunshine was taking. It was really just interesting. So at most, I'm hoping the next Mario game in the series, which is to be launched out on the NX, will at least be as creative as Sunshine was, because a lot of people have been pining for its creativity. The NX is practically Nintendo's last chance, as they've been kind of fucking up quite a bit this generation. The thing I'm worried about is I just don't want the Mario franchise to get the same bad publicity that Pac-Man now has this generation, especially with, because, you know, like if you look at Pac-Man, there's people blaming him for the deaths of other franchises and how they're rotting in Namco's basement at this point. And I don't want the same to happen to the Mario franchise either, considering it's kind of happening now. We People aren't getting a proper Metroid, there's no sign of F-Zero, you get the picture. And they're, they're giving their mascot just too much unneeded attention that's actually hurting the franchise. Again, just like Pac-Man. I mentioned this in my rant talking about companies and fan support and how they need to freaking listen to their fans, but... It's, Nintendo has already been taking down fan projects, like handing out candy. They've been handing out DMCA claims left and right. Like, another Metroid 2 remake, which was released on Metroid's 30th anniversary, was taken down pretty quickly. And there's plenty of Mario fan games that, are all, that have already been taken down. And even Game Jolt received over 200 Nintendo-related fan games to be, like, taken down. I'm just worried at this point. I don't want... Like, Nintendo, you need to fix things. I, I've been an avid fan of the Mario series for a while, but things are starting to drop drastically. People are already turning their backs on the Mario series because of N the NSMB syndrome, as I call it. Because you need to go back to the direction Sunshine was taking. You need to actually take risks, you're playing it so safe that's actually more of a risk to play it safe, as it's hurting your own IP more and more. I've already lost Pac-Man at this point, with him becoming a cult irrelevant to the game community, with people even just ignoring his achievements past the original arcade game. I fear that's the same that's going to happen to Mario, people are going to say, oh, he, the only good things he did were on the old Nintendo systems, like the NES to N64, 
why are, aren't you, you need to actually be creative again. Like, Miyamoto, I don't hate you, you gave me one of my favorite gaming franchises, but you've been kind of being a detriment to your own creations. But you can fix this. Sunshine was unique. You need to go... You can just... Um, pe yes, there are things people criticize, but that doesn't mean you t take the criticism as a message of, oh, we should never do this again. It, tr why don't... You could... There's still room to improve. You can... You take the criticism as a note to make things better, but as of recent games, you've been ignoring criticism. Like with pa Paper Mario Sticker Star. You made color splash, and now and it's already looking the exact same as Sticker Star, which is the gameplay style many people hated. And things are already not looking good. I, you, you're going down the route of new Namco, and I already have a grudge against Namco Bandai these days. So my God, just listen to your fans for once. Be creative, actually listen to criticism correctly, and maybe you can actually, you'll actually be like a household name again. You've dropped from recognizable brands, and you're pretty much on the verge of dying. Like, I hate to say that, but it's true. It, you're on the verge of dying. People are leaving you left and right. 